Hello, I'm Joe Wren. The Indiana Senate easily approved legislation today that spends $50 million on financial supports for families, children, and pregnant people. The measure is meant to be a companion to Republicans' proposed abortion ban. Now, Democrats largely support the measure, but some say it's a drop in the bucket. The social systems, the health care systems, the wraparound services are not available in every county in Indiana. The measure now heads to the House, which has its own version of the bill. U.S. Senator Todd Young of Indiana defended efforts by state legislators to ban most abortions. What we've seen at the state house demonstrates that uh, our legislators, I think, are, are uh, every bit is passionate about and determined uh, to get right. Young has consistently voted to restrict abortion access, earning him an A-plus rating on the Susan B. Anthony List National Pro-Life Scorecard. And IU graduate workers say they are being made to sign a new contract under duress. A petition circulated by the Indiana Graduate Workers Coalition states that workers had to sign the contract as a condition of employment without the opportunity to negotiate as a union. The new contract requires faculty to monitor the hours that graduate students work. IU spokesperson Chuck Carney says the rule is meant to prevent graduate students from being overworked, one of the coalition's main demands. Coalition members worry it will be implemented as a way to identify and withhold pay from striking workers. Now a quick check of the forecast. Partly cloudy tonight, lows down to 59 degrees in the five-day forecast. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, 81, 79 on Sunday with a slight chance of showers throughout Sunday and Monday. And Tuesday, a bit warmer Tuesday, 88, 91 and sunny on Wednesday. More news online, WTIUnews.org.